five and three seven. Okay, you are clear. Have a good weekend. Over. Thank you, darling. And the same to you. Over and out. <sighs> Saturday and Sunday. Two days off in the middle of the week. It's not the same, is it? Le weekend. Mm -hmm. London is the email again. Yeah. Besonders im Herbst. We're taking French lessons, are we? What I mean, no. <laughs> Those I give. <laughs> Where are we going? A shortcut. Marika, Peter. What are you trying to do? Kill us or something? You're about half an inch from that car. Gone metric, haven't you heard? Believe it. That guy's still on the phone. We're going to miss him. Give me some cover. Four five. Receiving you, four five. Hello, Julia. Sweetheart, listen, will you call this number for me? 903-8676. 903-8676. That's right. Tell Christine to phone her friend and tell her that we'll meet them at Dino's Wine Bar, 7.30. This is strictly against regulations. I'll make it up to you. You're all mouth and trousers, 4-5. <laughs> Careful. I'm licensed to thrill. Ha, ha. I'll call you back. Oh, let, hey, wait a minute. Listen, this message is for Christine, so uh, if a fella answers the phone, you're her friend, okay? I don't think I'd like her. <laughs> you're right. You wouldn't like her at all. Bye-bye. Julia. Nice, eh? Hey, what is this? Uh, up market page three? All the nudes that's fit to print. <laughs> All the nudes page that's fit. Forget it. Could you tell me where is the ladies' room, please? Certainly. Around to the left, the second door on the right. If someone leaves for you a telephone number, could you give it to me discreetly, please? Pleasure. It's around there, you Yes, ma'am. Seven two zero seven five two nine. Seven two zero seven five two. I pass on. Thank you.
them to you last night, then. No excuse? What kind of excuse is that? No excuse. That's no excuse. That's what I said. No excuse. Oh. They start mate, in a big way. Oh, yeah. Mm. Frankie, Christine's friend. <whistles> Her hobby. I'm talking to myself. Where were you on Saturday night? Had an urgent meeting with my psychiatrist. Oh. Well, the head needs shrinking. All right, what's a hobby? A hobby. Well, it just so happens I'm meeting them again tonight. Now, if you're interested. Bodie Finkel. Cheers, Princess. You call me that again, I'll crown you. Hello? Mr. Bodie? Yeah? My name is Kurt Kreiber. I am in charge of publicity for Marika Schumann. Marika would like to get in touch with you, but it is rather difficult to understand. However, she has asked me to arrange it with you. She has so many functions and receptions, it's impossible for her to get very much time. Yeah, well, I'd like to talk to her, even if it's on the phone. Well, look, uh, right now she's at a screening of her latest movie in uh, Leighton Studios. Just down the road from there, there is a service station. Do you know it? Yes. Meet me there in the uh, rest area uh, at four o'clock. There's a kind of arcade there, and I will see what I can arrange between now and then. How will I recognize you? I shall be wearing a polka dot tie, gray suit, and a black trench coat. You will be there. What was your name again? Kreiber. Kurt Kreiber. Yes, I'll be there. Where do you go from here? I've got a meet. Social. Yeah, okay. What am I going to do about those two girls? <laughs> hey. I'll call you. Oh, great. Listen, we'll be at Dino's till 8 o'clock. And if you're not there by then, I shall formally announce my menage a trois. Thank you. Enjoy and you. Ta da. Mr. Kreiber? Wait, I'm going for a record. Miss. Last one? Every time I miss that last one. It's not so easy. You must try. Now look, Mr. Bordy, you're causing me a lot of trouble. I am here to keep things smooth and ship-shaped. Actresses are a handful at the best of times, but when they start to have problems with the heart. Is she coming here? You play. I will explain some things you should know. And you score 180 to win. Right. I beat you guys twice already. This is the decider. Maybe it will be the third time lucky for us. I have arranged a meeting for Marika and you. We must be careful about her husband, you understand? He's a little jealous. What part do you play in all this, the Red Baron? I am in charge of publicity for all films exported by my country. A sort of cultural attention. You should be selling Concord. I imagine the sales are about the same. <laughs> That's good, then. You'll meet her at the open air theater in Holland Park. days. Oh. Yeah, I read in the paper about uh, your husband. Yes. He's produced all my films. Is that why you married him? Sorry. Max is a very strange man. He's done everything for me. Yet I know if I become a problem to him, he will drop me. Just like that. You know our country, it's so political. You. What about you? 
Are you still fighting all those obscure wars that never got into the newspapers? Uh, what were they? Africa? Ah, uh, stopped all that. What do you do now? A job. You don't want to talk about it? What kind of films do you make? Terrible. Yeah? Very well. Lately, the Liebe für Sparkland ist wichtiger als die Liebe für ein Ander. Yes, <coughs> very nice. Um, sweetheart, our love we have for our right. country is more important than that. our love for each other. Well, you believe all that rubbish, do you? You know, I don't know anymore. The older I become, the less I seem to understand. And you, you used to be so strong, so sure about everything. What could we have done? I had some good times. They were great times. The most wonderful of my life. But, uh, what happened to that brother of yours? Carl, the crazy anarchist. <laughs> He's still the same. Yeah? Well, not so crazy, perhaps. It's just sad in a way. Are you happy? I don't know. Well, if you don't know, you can't be, can you? I disagree. I think. Yep. That's it. My mole. Yeah. Still there. Where could it have gone? I don't know. No, Bodie, I must go. I'm late already. I'll telephone you. You promise? I promise. I promise. Mm. Well, come on then, your sauerkraut's getting cold. Well, I must walk from here to the hotel by myself. I wouldn't uh, be seen with you. Ruf ich sie wieder an. Wiederhören. It worked. Hier sind Frau Schumanns Sachen für den Empfang. Ja, schon gut. Dankeschön. Woher weißt du, dass die nicht Englisch spricht? Ah, she's so stupid, she can't even speak German properly. So, is everything okay? Perfect. The little operation today worked without a hitch. And Marika has already had her first rendezvous. At Wehrmann? I have confirmation from the embassy that Biermann will be attending the reception as planned. I must go. Remember, Biermann was a camp commandant. Vergiss nicht. Um acht müssen wir im Kino sein. Jawohl. Ah, oh, did you have a nice walk? Wonderful. I had forgotten how beautiful the parks are in London. Anna? Would you like a drink? I'd love a scotch. Thank you. Thank you. What time are we leaving for the show? Oh, eight o'clock. I've been thinking, this reception with Biermann tomorrow, perhaps it is not necessary after all for you to attend. If you would like me to be with you, Mark? Oh, it's all right. It would be boring for you. The woman is Schumann's wife. Does she know about her husband's other activities? You mean is she a spy too? There's a strong possibility. I'm afraid your man is now under official surveillance by my department. This, of course, means that you yourself are forbidden to communicate this fact to him. And needless to say, he cannot receive any assignments from you until he's been cleared by me. What Schumann's up to this time, we have no idea. And there is, of course, the possibility that the woman is an agent. We'll find out. But the intrigue level's pretty high. I'm afraid your boy is way out of his depth. My boy doesn't like being followed with us. The old man had better be careful. They can handle themselves. So can he. Hello. 
Doğal Doğal Drink? Oh, perhaps I will. What do you have? Uh, you wouldn't have a small malt. I might have. Good lad. Have you been seeing much of Bodhi socially these days? Not my idea of a date. No. You still seeing that Welsh school teacher? <laughs> what Welsh school teacher? Another half? Well. Oh. Bodhi had a secret meeting with a suspected East German agent. Wallace's man had the suspect under observation, that's how we know. I've seen the photographs. When was this meeting? Last night. Why? I want you to keep an eye on him. It'll be hard. That'll be harder. Willis has got him under total surveillance as well. Yeah, well, they're going to be watching him, aren't they? Not me. A check in. That's from now on Alpha Charlie frequency. All communication from you will be recorded, whether I'm speaking with you or not. When do I start? Immediately. Yeah, well, I'm going to need a photograph of this agent in case Bodie wants to contact him again. It's not a him. It's a her. Well, you've got to hand it to the lad. He was going to the electric chair and have Miss Universe pulling the switch. Four five. Hey, do you read me better now? Keep it like that. Right, oh, one more question. What happens if somebody spills beer down my shirt? The hairs on your chest will stand on end. Charming. Over and out. Hello, Luke. Uh, what do you want? Tomato juice. Vodka and tonic, please, Mike. Thanks. Well, how's your menage à trois? At three o'clock this morning, we all decided to fly to Las Vegas. Getting married. Back early, aren't you? Yeah. 3.15, Frankie fell off the table. I was performing a short extract from Swan Lake. Oh, sounds like a quiet night. Oh, no, she sprained a wing. Yeah? Oh, yeah, at its moments. <laughs> How about you? Bodie, telephone. Ah, oh, thanks, Mum. Bodie, I know this is your local, but it's not an answering service. Give her a kiss. Who was that, the governor? No, a woman. What do you two ever think about? Oh, what about my stamp collection? What stamp collection? You mean you haven't seen it? Lithium. I have done something very wicked. Oh, yeah? What have you done? I have booked for us two rooms adjoining in the hotel opposite for this afternoon. Like the old days? I thought you had a reception on this afternoon. My husband is giving a long luncheon for some people from the embassy. It would be awful. I've got out of it. Well? You're right. You are wicked. Am I? Penta Hotel, two o'clock. All right. Yeah.
Left the car and he's walking down Ashbourne Place. By the way, if anybody else has got him under surveillance, they must be doing it by satellite because I haven't picked out one of them yet. Uh, I'd like to buy some. I'll take some roses, please. He's talking to a flower seller. Bought some flowers. Bought some flowers. Like some flowers. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Pleasure. Carry on. Rosie? Rosie? One pound. Uh, yeah, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He's in love. Bodie, he can't be. There's a man acting suspiciously, standing in the middle of the street, holding a bunch of red roses and talking to himself. In a long time. Yeah. Oh.
careful who prints. Got a pen. Cartridges. Klinik gebracht werden. Ja, sofort. Wenn er in ein anderes Krankenhaus kommt, verlieren wir die Kontrolle. Okay. Any ID? No. Come on, what's your name? She has diplomatic immunity. Then we have to let her go. Just like that. Let me go. It's all right. Just relax. All right, let's start gathering. That's it for the neck, Mike. I'm changing over to RT. Over and out. Four, five, two, over. Charlie, over. Alpha Charlie. You're not going to like this. Bodie's being arrested. The girl's with him. Looks like Willis's men in uniform police. Over. Follow them. Hang on, man. They're only taking Bodie. Which one do you want me to follow? The girl or Bodie? Over. Stay on the girl. Roger. Hold on, George. Fire that. Vital you get, Prince. Understood. Hello, George. Willis, where have your men taken Bodie? I'm afraid I can't reveal that just yet. It looks pretty serious, George. There's been an assassination attempt on a foreign diplomat, and your man seems to have been implicated. Willis, I'm warning you. There's a dead rat under the floorboard somewhere, and the smell is coming from your department. George, any firm information I receive will be passed on to you. Goodbye. Note? Yeah, I know. This is all evidence. Label it. What's your name? He's a pro. He won't talk. Only a pro would have no ID on him. Am I allowed to make a phone call? No, he isn't. Who said so? I'll have to check with base first. Oh, this is base. I'm the officer in charge. I am. Have you formally arrested him? No, he hasn't. Do you wish to make a phone call? No, yeah. wait a minute. All right. Let's call your base. I want to talk to them too. Take him through. This is Alpha Charlie. Check out every local police station for a man answering description of Agent 37. Agent 37, right. There may be an attempt to enter 37's flat by special branch or uniform police to gather evidence. I want that flat sealed off by number two squad. Do I get to make my call now? Yeah? I'll make the call for you, then they can take your prints. No prints. It's a lot easier to take them off a corpse. What's the hurry? Get yeah, his prints. Look, I want to make my call! Let him make his phone call, and then you can take his prints. No, first we get his prints, and then he makes his phone call. Sweet. Okay, listen carefully, 4-5. I want you to get her out of there. Can you do it? Uh, there's a heavy. Could be some firework. You have the ones? When you get her, take her to your flat. Stand by there. Okay. You think you can handle it? The guard, yes. The girl, maybe. Good luck, 4-5. Don't answer that. Who are you? Who can that be? I don't know. Then leave it. I don't know. Anna. How would you like to see my stamp collection? Now, I'm afraid it's not much of an invitation, but you're going to have to accept it. Come on. Firebird. I'm at the hospital. He's still alive. Will he live? I don't think so. Hmm. And the bullets? Your man is here. He can get them from the surgeon. Okay. And the assassin? He's in custody. It's all working out. Marika? At your hotel suite. Good. Now he only has to die. Sit down. 452 Alpha Charlie, over. I've got the girl in my flat. Over. Roger. Your message being relayed to Alpha Charlie. Over. We managed to locate Bodie, yeah? Negative. Over. Right. Well, tell uh, Alpha Charlie I'll probably need some extra surveillance. Over and out. The 
This is uh, four five beginning interrogation of Merika Schumann. Time fifteen forty seven hours. All right. When did you bring the gun into the hotel? What gun? The gun you gave to Bodie, the gun he used to do the killing with. You're crazy. Bodie didn't kill anyone. He was set up. By you. We were both set up. Can't you see I'd that? I'd like to see that, sweetheart. Now you prove it to me. Barbert. He's dead. We've got the bullets. Good. Get back to the hotel. How long were you both in your room before the men entered? It's hard to judge. Was it more than five minutes? Well, yes, ten, fifteen perhaps. You sure? Yes. You're not lying. Why should I? Because they were in your room within three minutes of the shot being fired. Now, if Bodie was with you, he couldn't have been in the other room doing the shooting, could he? What's the matter with you? Don't you trust Bodie? I telephoned to Bodie in the pub after I had made the room reservations through Kreiber. He couldn't have been involved. He didn't have the could gun. They've seen Kreiber separately. They could have set it up between them. Impossible. I would have known. You only met Kreiber once at your instigation. I can't bear it. You're trying in your head to prove Bodhi guilty. I'm trying to prove Bodhi innocent. Exactly. In this country, I thought you were meant to assume innocence and prove guilt. Well, I am going to stand up for him in court. I will swear we were in the room together for half an hour. Even if it is against Kreiber, my husband, the whole secret police and the KGB. Sorry, Bodie, but I have to be sure. Willis? Tony. Ah, George. Any news? It looks very bad, I'm afraid to say. How bad? Well, your man booked into an hotel. A gun was found in his room that had recently been fired. Bullets have been recovered from the body that are expected to match the firing action of the gun. And prints on the gun will almost certainly be his. I'm sorry, George. You said body? Yes, dead, confirmed. Who was it? Someone big. Well, I can't tell you over this line. Then you'd better meet me. Rather pushed at the moment, old boy. You didn't hear me, Willis. I said you'd better meet me. Yes, I heard you, George. I said you I was... You made a big mistake, Willis, setting up one of my men. Now, just you listen to me. We've got the girl, understand? I'll use her in any way I choose in order to blow your scheme wide open. 4.30, the usual place. You'd better be there. I'm about to take the biggest single gamble of my career, and I trust you. You never do anything without a reason. The man who was killed was Beerman, the most militant hawk in their secret service. His assassination was arranged by some of his own colleagues and ourselves. The man who will replace Beerman, if nothing goes wrong, will be Schumann, the woman's husband. Schumann is one of our highest placed agents behind the Iron Curtain. When he replaces Beerman, he will then become the highest single agent there of any Western power. Nothing can stand in the way of that achievement, George, not even you. Bodie will not go to jail. I didn't say he would go to and jail. And what are you saying? He might escape. You'll let him escape? In exchange for the girl. I have very little time, George, and I've been straight with you. But I warn you, I can fight very dirty on this one if you don't cooperate. Don't double-cross me, Willis. Then it's a deal. The bullets? Yep. Yes. Everything. Yes, we have his prints. Okay. Telephone? Holy. Are you all right? Fine. How's Doyle? Now listen to me, I put Doyle onto you. It's a lousy chaperone. He saved your hide. Now answer this question, what's your location like? Oh, it feels great, you know, like the OK Corral full of cowboys. What security grading is your location? The location is fine. Why it's open as brothers or not. Now listen very carefully. We're getting you out of there. First, put the top cowboy in the line, and after he's finished, come back to me. Okay. Yeah. 
Yes. Hello. Who is? Green. Firebird. Let him escape. Would you repeat that, please? Let him escape. He'll be instructed to attempt this by his own superior. Put him on the line. Three seven. Yes. They're going to let you escape. Make it realistic and proceed to a safe house. Have you got that? I think so. Do you want me to repeat it? No. All right. Report to me immediately. You're clear. Good luck. All right. Yeah. Eliminate during escape. Repeat. Eliminate during escape. Everything okay? Sure. Alert Special Squad and stand by. I want a complete list as much as you can remember of the evidence that was removed from the hotel room. Okay. Willis. All right. Hello? Cowley. Your man is out. Now, what about the girl? He hasn't called in. I'll take his word for it when he's free. Damn it, George. I don't have much time to play with. No, Willis. Only lives as usual. I need this line. You may call in at it. Goodbye. This is Firebird, a special squad. I want a man on every CI-5 operative location we know of. Alpha Charlie, this is 3-7. Do you hear me, over? Alpha Charlie, proceed immediately to safe house 7. Over. You've got to be kidding, over. 3-7, that is an order. Over. Like the orders those cowboys had to let me escape, over. What are you talking about? Over. Yeah, well, the next time I need a free passage out for Charlie, I'll make my own reservation. Out. 3-7, listen to me. He stopped transmitting, sir. He didn't sound too happy. No. Neither am I. We were guaranteed a watertight culprit. We have one. He just happens to have escaped. What about Marika? She is not important. We only have Uncle Beerman's scheduled core at the base this evening. Everything must be settled by then. Keep calm.
If he is free, why doesn't he telephone? And what would you do in his shoes? He's got his fingerprints all over the stock of that rifle from the arcade where you first made contact with him. I didn't know how contact was made. It was Kreiber who arranged things for me. He told me to meet him in the park. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Hello. Alpha Charlie? Any news? Not yet. He hasn't called here. Ah, uh, he's not likely to. He saw you outside the hotel before the shooting. He's not going to like that. I'm worried. He might try something wild. We'll pick up the girl to take her to safe house seven. I've got something else for you to do. Green to fire burn. Woman located. She's left CI5 house with escort. Follow, but do not apprehend. Keep calling in your position. Will do. I want sections five and six to link in on my frequency. Joey, to Alpha Charlie, Mayday. Alpha Charlie, come in, Joey, over. Three seven showed up, he's outside. Two men firing at him, over. It's three seven arm, over. Yes, he's got an FN rifle, over. Can you hold them, over? Well, they've only got handguns. Over. Oh. Shall I go to assist, over? No, stay with the girl, there'll be the others. Over and out. Hello. CI5 forensic, I need to check that stuff from the hotel. I'll have to check this. I haven't got all day. Secure the room. Show him in while I verify this. Hey! You'll need this. Otherwise, you'll never find it. Yeah, it all seems to be here. Bring that with you.
We've got him. He's on the top. Green. Firebird. We're sending up concussion grenades. Fire one over his head and then rush him. We wanted to go up above him, right? your men, Willis. You left your back door open. You should know better than that. Doyle here collected the evidence, but he's mislaid it. Want to call division? Get the girl. Green, Firebird, come on down. Repeat, come on down. scapegoat after all. There'll be no trouble proving she was one of mine. Yes. No trouble at all. Still want me to follow it? You make sure your own house is in order, 4-5. 